I'm out here in Naruto. We are here under the bridge, about to go on a 30 minute cruise to see coral pools, coraling water pools that is apparently very, very historical. It's a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Oh, I see a little one right there. So look at these coral pools, guys. This is when the ocean meets the bay and the currents mix together. It's a little whirlpool. This is wild, guys. You do not want to be stuck in the middle of one of these, man. So the Pacific Ocean drains out into the bay and that's what causes the whirlpool. I'm here at my Rokan for tonight in Arima Onsen. And man, we got a whole room for us to kick it in and to just chill, man. This is the classic Yokan Yukata Onsen kimono that you wear. Or a kimono with a belt. Like shrimps. All you can eat wagyu, baby. Oh yeah. We gonna eat good tonight. This might be the best buffet I've ever been to here in the Yokan in Arima Onsen. It doesn't get better than this. Mmm. Now steamed egg. Finishing it off with dessert. Oh man, y'all. Oh, that was an excellent meal, guys. All you can eat Wagyu, sashimi, desserts, salad. Oh man, you can't ask for anything more after a nice warm hour in the onsen. What a great morning dip inside the onsen. I was out there looking at the mountains. And it was so, so comfortable sitting outside with the steaming bubble baths, enjoying nature, just having the time to myself. Always take some time for yourself, guys, because you are the most important person that matters. You feel me? These are Japanese wieners. These are my favorite type of wieners out there. A lot better than American wieners, American hot dogs, German sausages. The Japanese uina is the best. Perfectly sized too, one bite. Mm. So we out here in front of the Himeji Jo, AKA the Himeji Castle. This is a very, very ancient castle that are not, not a lot of tourists go to because all the tourists go to Kinkakuji out in Kyoto. But this is the real Japanese local people experience that I'm going to take you guys on. So we're meeting a volunteer tour guide that we found on Rakuten here. He is going to show us a two hour tour. This guy loves the castle so much, he's doing it for free. So that's a life lesson. Find something you love so much that you're willing to do it for free. That's what real hobbies are, homies. For me, it's taking YouTube videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, folks. Jay, wait for me. Say, hey, stop running. Why are you running away from me? Hey, why is she running away from me? I thought we were married. So if we were trying to attack this castle, we would have been dead three times already. Because when we go up to the gate here, the window, arrows come. Arrows come. I'd be dead again if I tried to attack this castle. Do I look pensive? Do I look pensive? So that's the castle folks. Pretty interesting that nobody lived here. People made this castle just to flex on folks like, yo, I won the war. I'm gonna build this great castle. Kind of like today he's wearing a roly. So if you see the roofs, the corner of the roofs don't line up in a straight line. And that was done on purpose to show Japanese culture of being imperfectly perfecto. But this side of the roof corners are all lined up. So it's called an accent corner. It shows even if you're doing something perfectly, you want to leave a couple nuggets of imperfection to show that you are still a human being. These are the mythical creatures I was talking about called Shachi. They look like dragons or maybe koi fishies. We had an excellent time learning so many interesting facts about how they used to live in the olden days. 
yeah. as Japan has just opened up, the government really wants to encourage tourism right now. And so with our ticket that we paid for 1,000 yen, they gave us an 800 yen coupon to use at the gift store. So effectively, they're subsidizing the trip costs here because they really want you to visit and spend money here. And so that is what we got. And we got two boxes of oyatsus or snacks. I'm outside Nanpu, which is an Osaka famous okonomiyaki style. Call it Japanese pancakes, but Osaka style. I'll show you why it's special, special type of okonomiyaki. It's the special this, style right? of the city. Now I'm gonna cut it up for everybody. Got the Osaka style okonomiyaki. Got some pork, kimchi, egg, yakisoba. It is gonna be a meal. Konomiyaki is supposed to have the mayo, the nori, and the katsuo flakes. I got this with oyster. Let's check it out. So we are in Uno right now, waiting for the ferry to drive our little car right onto the ferry, take it across the ferry, and go to Naoshima Island. Now they're driving off the boat and we are going to get back on. Good night, son. I'll see you tomorrow. Go to sleep. <laughs>